Obviously, uh, you know, the quarterback competition is something on the offensive side of the ball, but we just asked Coach Garuder about this. How much does it push the defense to have those guys know that it's a competition for them too? It's huge. It's huge. And, and as they're shuttling in different quarterbacks, the game changes too, right? You see number five in there, and five's as fast as any guy in the field, right? And then they bring in Kilton, and Kilton can run pretty good, but Kilton doesn't run quite as good as five. So that changes us a little bit on defense. And then you got about 22 guys competing for 11 jobs on defense, which is different than we had a year ago. So as much competition there is at quarterback, there's also competition for us on defense. So it's, it's good because you bring your twos on, and there isn't as big of a drop-off right now. How many guys did you hold out today? Well, we're missing. There was probably four starters on defense that didn't play today. You know, uh, and another one that we you know we limited Kyrie a little bit. He played some, but not not a whole lot. Uh, we got to get Todd back. You know, you got Charles and guys like that, yeah, Ederain. Um, but I think we'll be at full capacity when we come back in August. I don't have any doubt about it. What do you think your biggest questions are going to be when you get to that point, to August? Well, we, you know, it's no different than it was coming out of last season. We got to make sure we're not giving up big plays. You got to not be an 85 percent or 90 percent defense, where an 85 percent or 90 percent of your plays, you're you're giving up two yards or three yards or one yard or having a sack, you know, in the 10 or 15 percent of the plays of the game is the one they're beating. No, no, you know? anyway. That's the thing I see that, that is the biggest deal. If, if we don't give up big plays, we're going to be okay versus everybody. Because you see us, we're in the backfield. We're blitzing our butt off. We're going to knock quarterbacks around. When you knock them around, you got to be consistent. You can't give up the big plays. So that's going to be our office when we come back again is playing within the scheme, making the plays we should make, but let's not give up the big play. From the from the spring as a whole, um, any one or anything that, that sticks out as a big positive? Yeah, there's a lot of positives. I, mean, I, I don't know if I can even pinpoint one. But I think if I had to pinpoint one thing that was awesome is that unlike in the fall camp, we had 22 guys that truly felt that they were going out there every day to earn a job. No, no doubt. Yeah, you know, and I think in the past we've had some incumbents, and that's limited competition. I think you saw guys every day come out and, and go. That doesn't mean they always played well. It doesn't mean they didn't make mistakes. We saw a lot more competition day in, day out, and that's going to drive us. That's going to drive our program better. Who do you see as being the leader on this team for the summer and moving forward? Who's going to step up and take Duran's shoes or take Carl's shoes or Donovan's shoes? Rick, you know, that's a great question. That's something we're trying to encourage. You know, Kyrie Wilson's got to be a guy like that. You know, he's going to be a three-year starter, um, playmaker, dynamic, uh, all-around guy that's good in the classroom, and he's potentially an NFL player, so he's got a lot of clout in a lot of different levels. We need Kyrie to be that guy. You know, Todd Hunt needs to be a team leader. He's, he's a three-year guy coming back. Uh, but then you got another you got guys that are freshmen, you know, like Xavier Ulutu and Tobeno Akeke, who played a lot as true freshmen you got to see them have develop some leadership at a young age. So I don't know on offense, and there's some guys on that side of the ball that I'm sure they'll talk to you about, but defensively those are guys that I think that – and then Dalen Jones, you know, he's probably the other one that I think has shown the most leadership this spring. So I think we've got some good candidates there to be leaders. What did you like out of Shannon during spring ball? Because he didn't play – I don't think he played today at all, right? Shannon didn't play all spring. You know, he's recovering yeah. from that shoulder. Uh, he might be one of the most football savvy guys in the football team. He can probably play any of the four spots in the secondary. Uh, and he's got a good attitude. But he's got to recover from that injury and get back out in the field. 